Hello everyone. Today we are going to create this digital animated ads for social media such as Instagram using Adobe Photoshop. So uh, let's watch. It's pretty simple. Okay. So please the um, uh, subscribe my channel and hit the like button and set the notification for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so first please download this file from the link I provided in my description. Uh, this is the, um, um, the snowboarding kind of a resort uh, promotional kind of a banner for the uh, social media. And then as you can see that there are multiple layers, five layers. And I converted each layer as a small object. Okay, so um, let's do that. So first, uh, go to Windows menu, open timeline. And then once you open timeline, there are two options, create video timeline or frame animation. Let's do a create a video timeline and click on here. So as you can see, there are the five layers. And let me make it fit. Okay, so first, I'm going to start from the bottom layer, which is this, the background image. So what I'm going to do is, um, once you click on this, the expand button, you have the three options, transform, opacity, and style. I'm going to click on the, um, uh, the stopwatch at the very beginning. Place the display head at the very beginning. Click on stopwatch for the first keyframe. Now I'm going to move it to 10 frames second and insert another second keyframe. Now I'm moving back, set at the first keyframe, <clears throat> and then under edit menu, I'm going to change the scale. Hold down the option key, make it slightly bigger, not too much, just like that, and hit the return. And watch. So this happens. Just like that. It's very simple. Okay, now my plan is after uh, my background image set the size like this, then I want to present the snowboarder, layer number two, which is this. Okay, on layer number two, at 10 frames a second, I'm going to insert transform keyframe, and on 20 frames a second, insert the second keyframe. Now I'm back to the other uh, 10 frames a second, my first keyframe of this snowboarder, and then edit, transform, and scale. I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. Option, I go about that size. Return. So my background is coming in, and this guy is getting smaller. But also at the same time, uh, on 10 frames a second, let me insert opacity keyframe on 20 second frame second another second keyframe and then I want to have the fade in effect on first keyframe in your layers panel select the layer and change the opacity value down to zero so it's gonna be fading in so watch see it happens pretty quick but it is pretty cool okay now after that let me collapse this on layer number three which is right free I'm going to change the position of that so let me on 20 frame second mark insert the first keyframe by clicking on this transform stopwatch and in one second mark here second keyframe Okay, then on the first keyframe, I'm going to move, let me choose my move tool, right free, I'm going to move it out of stage, out of my document, like that. So this happens, it's coming in. Okay. I'm done with this, but at the same time, I want to animate the other second line or die. So um, that is this layer, 
let me insert the uh, transform the keyframe in one second mark second keyframe on the first keyframe I'm gonna move this to the opposite direction like that so watch see so this happens and after that I want to have my logos so transform again in one second and ten frame second second keyframe in here let me go to edit menu and I'm gonna choose this time free transform hold down the option on first keyframe make it bigger about that size also I'm going to rotate 180 hold down the shift key and when you hover your mouse cursor somewhere there you see that the mouse cursor has the other band shape and rotate it 180 and return and see what happens this happens but also I want to change the opacity value so on the first keyframe one second mark insert the first keyframe for the opacity and one second and ten frame second second keyframe on one second mark highlight the first keyframe of the opacity layer and then change the um, opacity value of the layer down to zero so it's going to be fading in so it is done so watch it's pretty cool it happens so quick but um, it is very effective Oops. like a sequence and then uh, if you upload this on the um, um, Instagram for example it will keep looping so once it is done in the uh, one second and ten frame second mark there there is gonna wait about almost four seconds and it will play again I think that the four sec uh, five second entire time duration is kind of a little bit long so I'm going to reduce it up to four second mark. Four, 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 and four. Play it. Okay. Then it will keep looping. So once it is done, save your file. And then it's ready to export as an MP4 video file. So go to File export render video I'm gonna just keep the same name snowboarding.mp4 select a folder that's the destination where you want to export it so that's my folder choose it and Adobe Media Encoder and then make sure your format is H.264 high quality I will keep the same dimension 300 by 600 and everything looks fine and please make sure your media encoder is on this thing okay now render it is done let me check my folder snowboarding mp4 see that's pretty cool okay so that's it so um, um, I hope yeah, that you enjoy this video and that you can use this for your future project for the other social media promotion thanks for watching and I'll see you next time